Hi everyone, it's Jenny. Welcome to week 24 of my pregnancy. <laughs> and week 24 has been fine, uh, still feeling great as usual, so I'm thankful for that. And Lucy and I are here today. Uh, let's see, so, hmm, what to talk about on my week 24 update? Well, it's been hot, uh, again. Funny how that doesn't go away in the summer. <laughs> and so hot has led to more swelling in my feet and ankles. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit enough to where my husband will make fun of me for it at the end of the day. Um, so <laughs> uh, besides being made fun of for having cankles, there is not really anything that's too uh, like bad about having the swollenness. Um, <laughs> that's about it. But besides that, everything at work has been pretty good. And uh, things have been a little bit slower here this week. I've had a little bit of time to breathe, but not much. So yeah, I guess that's fine. <laughs> um, let me see what else. Oh, so I've been trying to think about things that I can get done right now for the baby. Um, while I'm still working and while I don't have that much free time. And so I've been just like on my phone on Amazon uh, <laughs> when I'm like in the car or on my way to work, not while I'm driving. <laughs> I sit in the back seat um, after I get to work and we drive to where we're working that day. I'll be on Amazon looking for, you know, items for my baby registry. <laughs> And so I've started to put that together, which is cool. Um, I'm not like a huge fan of registries to begin with. Um, for one, I'm not really having a big baby shower. I don't live near almost any of my friends or uh, and no family uh, where I live. So uh, I can't, I'm, not, I'm not really gonna have that like, hey, my best friend since childhood and my grandmother and my mom and my, you know, all of my friends are here and they're you know, showering me with gifts. That's not really going to be my baby shower. <laughs> I'm having a virtual baby shower that a friend of mine here uh, thought might be a great idea since I'm a military spouse and I've sort of lived all over the place. I have friends in a lot of different places and obviously my home is very far away from where we're stationed. So I, you know, from where I am now, she thought it'd be cool to do like a Facebook event as a bridal shower, or a bridal shower, baby shower, and to invite all of the people on Facebook that I wanted to invite, no matter where they are, to at some point in like this couple day period during the event, to meet at certain times and then to, you know, just have discussions back and forth with games and trivia, things like that. And then if anyone wants to get me anything from my registry, um, that'll be available for them to look at and then they can, you know, write to me that they got me this and uh, having it sent, you know, to my home and everything. So I thought, well, better than nothing, right? So we're going to be doing that, which I think will be pretty cool. But back to the registry, um, I'm just not a huge fan of telling people what to buy me or expecting people to buy me anything to begin with. So... I don't know, I just feel like it puts people in kind of an awkward position if you're going to be like, come to my virtual baby shower, you have to get me something from this list. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know, I mean I put a lot of basic stuff on there that I know I want, but when it comes down to a lot of things, like I don't, like you know you want to put like a play mat on your registry because uh, those are really cool to have, the babies really enjoy them. Obviously I'd like one of those, but I don't care what style it is. You know, if I were going to buy it for myself, which I probably will end up doing, um, I can look through the ones I see online and in the store, pick one that I, that I like personally. Um, but I'm not going to, I don't, I feel like telling people, you have to get me this style because that's what's on my registry is kind of weird. Like, I'd rather people be able to go and pick out whatever they want as long as they knew, oh, she wants a play mat and then send me that. So, uh, but that's, I guess, just sort of how things work. You kind of have to pick out certain, I mean, like, I feel like I wish I could just pick out like a genre of something I want and just say, you know, 
get me whatever you like in this style. You know, like, I want a certain number of onesies or whatever, but I don't need to have this particular model. You, you know, if I really want it, I'll buy it for myself. So that's just why me, I don't know, I feel just kind of bad, you know, giving that to people and being like, it feels demanding. <laughs> I also wasn't sure whether I should also have a registry at a regular store, not an online store, for people like my parents and my family who may be a little bit less technically inclined or gifted, um, so they could actually go to a store and look at the things on my list and buy them and firsthand. Uh, so I think I might actually be going to Babies R Us and doing a real registry there as well, um, because that's the only large baby store within a two hour <laughs> radius of where I live. So I'll probably be doing that as well. Anyway, yeah, that's basically the only thing I've been doing this week. And uh, yeah, otherwise than that, I've been working and swollen and my legs have been really tired this week. Um, so when I get home, I've just been trying to relax. Um, <laughs> I haven't had a lot of cravings this pregnancy. I'm sure you may have noticed I don't usually just talk about stuff like that a lot. But the lately, especially this week, I feel like I've just felt like ice cream all the time. And part of that's probably because it's really hot out. I don't know why, you know. But yeah, I've just been wanting ice cream. So I stopped a couple times in town to get some. And I, I never have ice cream in my house, but I went to the grocery store and I actually bought a pack of Magnums, which are these amazing ice cream treats, you know, on a stick, um, <laughs> that I used to eat when I lived in Australia. And they were huge over there, but we didn't have them in America. And I was like, whoa, they're like the best ice cream bars ever. Why don't we have them? And then finally we got them in America. So I bought them because I could not resist. Yeah, I know. Uh, so anyway, I've been craving ice cream. <laughs> and that's been pretty much it. This week hasn't been very eventful otherwise. Um, I don't have anything else really going on. Next week I have an OB appointment in Lubbock and so yeah, I will be going to that and telling you all about that because I believe I have my glucose test next week and so that will be interesting to see how that goes. Um, I don't have any type of feeling that I have gestational diabetes, but you never know, so we'll see. <laughs> right, Lucy? And so, I don't know, I guess that's it for my week 24 update. Um, I'm just getting really excited for my job to be ending. Um, I have three more weeks of work and then I am done until I go back to work after the baby. And I am leaving for my vacation, uh, it, which I'm super, super excited about. I can't wait to get out of New Mexico. <laughs> I can't wait to see my family and to be in the Northeast and to eat some lobster rolls and oh, it's just going to be really nice. So I'm looking forward to that for sure. Um, but in the meantime, hey, it's going to be a great three weeks. Yay. <laughs> I think I'm just hitting the end of the road with work. So um, I'm a little bit tired of it. And I will be very, very, very glad for a little bit of a break so that I can actually relax and then I can actually focus on preparing for the baby, baby boy, uh, who will be here before you know it. So I feel like I've done nothing and it will be really nice to actually get some stuff done. So thank you for watching week 24. Um, you guys, I would love to hear about you uh, because, I don't know, I can sit here and talk about me all day. So tell me about yourselves in the comments below. Are you pregnant? Are, do you have kids? Are you TTCing? Um, you know, what's your status and what do you do and where do you live and all of that type of stuff. I would love to hear more about my listeners um, and because I want to be friends with you guys. So. So I don't have a lot of friends here. Uh, so I would love that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. And I will talk to you next week during week 25. So Lucy and I 
um, are going to say goodbye, and we'll see you later. Goodbye. See you later. See you later. Bye.